everybody. This is Roxy. We're going to be doing her maternity haircut. She's due in the next few days. So she's already been bathed. I washed that in with all systems. The super conditioning. This is my favorite. I blow dry with the K92 dryer. The diffuser nozzle is my favorite nozzle. And because they are mama dogs, I like to make sure I file their nails with a Dremel. Just to make sure that she doesn't accidentally step on any babies. And your toe is just scratching. I like to go from the top. I'll push the quick back. So with these guys, with the moms, really they just need the vet's going to end up doing, when she does a C-section, she's going to take off all this hair. So I like to blend it to make it look cute because we all are going to do pictures as soon as the puppies are born. There's a few ways that you can do this. This, I use the wall 30 blade. And then I use an attachment. This one's the number two, the wall stainless steel attachment. Um, this is the number two. You can make it a little longer, a little shorter. It's whatever's up to you. So with this, when you go in reverse, you're going shorter than when, if you're going width. So, this line here that's not very blended, and we'll start blending. Just going to do a scooping action. So now I go from the nipples up. This will blend to kind of do a the opposite of what you did on the way down. I'm going to do this on the way up. Pull here. Scoop up. It gives you a nice clean look on the side. And now, one of the worst parts for these mama dogs is the back end. So for the back half, this is where all the nasty gunk is going to come out, whether you do a C-section or you go natural. So this is the part you really want to maintain the most. And this is just for hygiene. So again, I'm using the number two. And she's already been pre-done. So I'm just kind of blending. Not sticking right to her skin, just kind of going right off of it. So we're going right from the tail down, not from the side of the bottom hole. Side. <laughs> so 
So from my point of view, what's that? you the nice clean looks of anything when they're having or so you deliver natural or afterwards it keeps this nice and clean all the hairs gonna fall out anyways and that's about it All right, this is Martini. We're gonna get started on her mommy makeover to prepare for her babies. Many of you will remember her from the basic grooming video. She's the one sleeping. All right, so to get her ready, I'm gonna start by taking off all of this here, and then we'll work back here as well. So this is the wall 30 blade on a pair of clippers and this is the number two stainless steel attachment that goes with the wall this one is super short so you start by you don't want to dig straight in you kind of want to use this part and you're just combing with it you're not turning your wrist just going straight down. This will take off the bulk of it. She's not bathed, so this is going to be choppy. We're going to take off a lot of this so she doesn't have to stand on the table to be dried. If this was a pet dog we were doing for, at a grooming shop, then I would bathe her before I do anything. Watch those nippies. When you go in reverse, you're taking it shorter. The opposite direction of the hair makes it shorter. Now this I'm leaning, when I'm going backwards, I'm leaning this flat up against her. And I'm kind of flicking my hand up the top. Now remember with this, we're going to blend it after her bath, so don't really stress on how choppy that looks right now. Martin, turn around. Martin, turn around. Turn around. Good girl. All right, so now we're going to go to the other side of her. Same thing. We're going to start in the loin, or if you prefer to start behind the elbow, that's fine. But pick a spot and make that your starting point always. She's about a week and a half from being due. Mm -hmm. Right at it. Right at 10 days from being due. She's got a lot of babies in there.
Then the front, lift up the armpit and scoop it. Get all of this out. Remember, there's a nipple up here, so you want to make sure you clean that off. This will help with looking for mastitis and stuff when never moms, if the moms live are natural. We plan C-sections. So for us, the hair's typically gone anyways. It just looks sloppy. So I like to have a little control over how it looks. Because we're all going to take pictures of our babes. Lower the dryer down to one while I'm working on the belly. So Martini's been bathed and dried. She's still a little damp, but because she's mama dog, we're gonna give her some time. So again, we use the clippers. This is the two blade or the 30 blade with the number two comb on it. And I'm just lightly going down to blend this in a little. Pulling it forward to make it look a little neater. her side. Oh, Martini. Alright, so now we're going to do the back of her. This is the area that to me is for hygiene. Whenever they deliver puppies or even after they deliver, they typically are really nasty back here. So this is hygiene. And the number two, we go up this way. The base of the tail up. And then you're going to put your clippers with this side of the blade and right here on this side of the butt. You're going to swoop right along. Same thing over here. And don't be sad, all this hair is leaving. It's all going to get gross. You're going to cut it in the middle of the night if you don't do it now. Now, I like her hair a little longer, so I'm not going to go wide like I did on Moxie. Get the shorter on the inside and carve this out right between the legs. Side of the joiny, the back's gonna get nasty. Of all of that. When you buy these stainless steel wall clipper combs, they come in a set. And in that set, they have it's called a letter C. It's at about 
seven eighths of an inch. So, for her with thicker hair, I use this down the sides just because it blends it a little cuter than the way Roxy, the Roxy's hair lays flat. Hers has a little more fluff. So I use this to be a little longer. Always do whatever length you want. This is just what I have found works for my girls. I just think it looks prettier. I'm going to blend a little more going reverse and flip up. Throw over that motion. This just helps blend it the more you kind of go over it. Remember, if you don't groom, if you don't bathe and blow dry your dog first, it's not going to come out very smooth. You have to get real choppy. my mom Trinity cut on a golden retriever little Miss Martini huh? Oh, good girl